Welcome back to another of Maya's Pearl Reviews. Hey, Phantom, where's your hoodie? You stole it! I did not. You lying whore. No. <laughs> okay, so this week we're viewing it and Zodiac. It? Talk about it? Clown. Doing it? It's the clown and Zodiac. Oh, his name's Tenny Watch. Yeah, yeah, it, his name's it. No, he Pennywise. isn't it. His name's Tenny Watch. His name's the clown. Yeah. Okay, so let's start with Zodiac. Okay, so Zodiac is about this guy. He like he um kills people and like sends them like letter the PlayStation letters. Um, based on true story, based, based on, on the actual like, Zodiac killer. Okay, letters and saying like how he killed him, yeah, taunting him pretty much. Yeah, and tell him that they he need they need to put it in an ad or something like that, mm. some kind of newspaper ad, or he'll keep on killing mm -hmm. and yeah so like one of the, the guys uh what's his name in them he's the younger kid um uh, i read the character name the actor is uh, jake gyllenhaal yeah his character like he's just a cartoonist so like four years they're like they're basically giving up on finding out who the zodiac killer is mm -hmm. pretty much but he's like i'm gonna try to find out who he is and he kept like searching and searching mm. and yeah he found out who he the Zodiac Killer is mm. yeah that's it that's the whole movie all right I I enjoyed it yeah I I think that he shouldn't have well when they the basement whatever mm. I don't think he should have went down the basement yeah it was kind him. of a creepy scene right there because there's not many basement houses there, and yeah. he's like, well, there is here, and I went and went down there. Uh, yeah, I wrote that the movie. I'm a big fan. I, uh, not to sound more of everything, but when I was younger, I always did, I did a lot of reading up on, like, you know, American serial killers like that, so I knew a lot of the stuff I already going into it. Um, and, and from what I understand, this is probably the closest and the most popular opinion on who the Zodiac actually was. They never actually found, you know, caught the Zodiac. It's just speculated that Drew Carey's brother, I forget, the, the, the actor's name was John Carroll Lynch, I forget the character name, but it's only speculated that it was him. They never actually, you know, claimed. I know, I just, I noticed that, the, oh, what's his name? McFoyle? Uh, 13 going Mc, on 30, McFoyle. he has the curly hair. Oh, Mark Ruffalo. Or Mark Ruffalo's yeah. in it. Mark Ruffalo's in it. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. does a really good job. Uh, and so you don't really get a whole lot of credit in this movie. Like, it's all, you know, the, the DVD cover, the poster and all shit, it's all about Mark Ruffalo, Robert Downey Jr., and Jake Gyllenhaal. And the one person who don't get no credit at all is Anthony Edwards. And I don't know, this is probably his best performance. Now, I know... Anthony Edwards. He was the other partner. No, I don't remember. Ruffalo's partner. I don't remember. Well, anyways, um, he had, the, like, the he, he balding... Blondish, bald hair. I think so. Anyways, um, but no, I, I know like you know, the only thing he's really done previous to this, at least that I know of, was uh, *Revenge of the Nerds*, *ER*, and *Pet Cemetery*. But that aside, still solid, solid performance. And I just feel like he got kind of shafted when people talk about you know the different stuff here. Uh, directing is terrific by David Fincher, uh, and I, I definitely dig that he's gone more on this crime mystery. Turn as of late. It kind of started with Zodiac. I like Jake Gyllenhaal. How he's like, he's like determined to yeah. find out who he is. In terms it came of up. It, it became an obsession. Like it, you know, practically you know, ruined yeah. his marriage and. Yeah, and his kid didn't he have like kid without a girl? Yeah. They didn't like they go on a first date and they like just pass like they're married and mm -hmm. have kids. But uh, no, but overall, yeah, big big thumbs up for this movie. I, I definitely liked it. So. Yeah. Liked it, and I liked how that he they get random. He got random phone calls. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then he show himself on TV, or he did something to reveal that he was the one that was searching for Zodiac, and he started getting yeah. calls and everything. Yeah. But oh my god, like, like he knows who the Zodiac killer is. I just know Liam McPoyle's in the movie. Yeah. 
William at the Bond. end at the end of the movie. Well, beginning too, remember? Well, no, no, it was a different guy character in the yeah. beginning, or a different actor in the beginning, just aged or whatever. Yeah. But. So I enjoyed it. That's it. I get a thumbs up. Totally recommend it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I give it. Uh, let's see. Are you raking it? Yeah. You're a goober. You've yeah. never ranked before. Yeah, I have. Never. Yeah, I have. Eight out of ten. An eight out of ten. Yeah. Okay. What's your rank? I'm not ranking. Fuck you in your ranking. I'll give it an eight out of ten. Also, hold that. Okay. That good. Next is it the clown. It, the movie's not called it the clown. It's called it. It's it, it, it's it Pennywise. What? It, aka Pennywise. I'm gonna choke you. No. So it is about these. Uh, how many? Five. Seven. Seven. Seven kids. The loser club. Yeah, the loser club. So these seven kids are all together, and uh, Pennywise kills them. What's his brother's name? Georgie. Georgie kills Georgie. And like, it's all your fault, Bill. Yeah. Sounds almost like, yeah. uh, what's that bitch from uh, True Blood? And a pack one? Mm. Bill! Mm. Bill! You let me alone, Bill! And it got me, Bill! It's all your fault, Bill! And a pack one, Georgie, same fucking character, I swear. So, um. Susan. He gets, like, his arm gets ripped off, and he kind of has like spirit beats therapy, kind of. The brother's arm gets ripped off, yeah. and the older brother Bill gets like some stutter. Kind of stutter, and so like thirty years has passed, and he comes back and he killed a little girl, and yeah, basically they're they're, they're they all promise to come back if Pennywise isn't dead, so they all come back except for one, and they go out and try to kill him. Yeah. That's why it's like the whole movie. That's the whole movie right there. So yeah. you, you just narrow the whole movie down to three sentences. Yeah. Alrighty. Yeah. So I, I, I liked it. I enjoyed it. I like how they freaking threw like this big silver rock, whatever. Yeah, it just melted down silver. Yeah. yeah, and freaking hit him in the freaking head and the light shines. Mm -hmm. Dead lights. Yeah. And when, uh, three years later, it's just, it's not it the clown. It's just a big freaking octopus or whatever it is. Spider. A spider. Did you really say octopus? Had a lot of arms, so. though. Had a lot of arms. Yeah, like a big spider, and yeah. Um, love it. Uh, I, I mean, I, I won't go into detail. You guys have seen this movie. There's no way you haven't seen this or mini series. Sorry. Um, let's just hit the the, the highlights. Uh, Tim Curry as Pennywise, fucking awesome. And that's the problem with any remake that comes out is. It's gonna be tough to beat his performance. Like, I, I don't know. And it's weird because whenever I read the book, I finally read the book last year, and it's weird because I kind of wish I would have read it before ever seeing the movie, which would have been you know a long time ago. I guess I would, you know I was a kid, would But I, I'd be curious to you know, I'm curious to think what my mom would have came up with without Tim Curry as Pennywise. But the problem is when you read the book, you can't help but put all these actors into the roles, you know. Um, no, I thought, I thought all the actors did good, uh, the, the kids did extremely well, uh, and you know, there's a lot of depth and emotion to each character, I mean, they're all very well fleshed out, like, no one's really just two-dimensional, except for maybe, like, you know, the other character, you know, Henry Bowers, obviously, he's just, he's just a dick, that's all he is, he, there is no depth to his character other than that, but, uh, no, all, all the actors did really well. Uh, story's great. This is just Seth creepy. Seth Green did good. Yeah, Seth Green did good. The, the story itself is just, uh, the movie itself is just creepy. I think uh, it's surprising for a TV miniseries to be this good. Uh, especially, and I don't want to just start picking, picking on, but like, it's hard to find a good Stephen King miniseries. I really can't think of too many. I didn't care for The Stand. Tommyknockers was, eh. Um, I think I've seen Tommyknockers. The Shining wasn't that great. I'm trying to think what else. There's a, there's a few other ones they did that I'm just kind of like, but it, yeah. dude, knocks it out of the fucking park. I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I, you know, you can go on and on, but it's just this movie's great. I just great. love how like like it like changed into like their like father or, or whatever their fear is yeah. or whatever's on their mind. Yeah. Um, like the the fat boy. The, oh my god, this is Ben. Meanie. Ben. Now Ben. His, like, 
His like dad that got died in the army mm-hmm. pops up. Ben, come on down, Ben. You yeah. got balloons. And then the the forward. girl, Beverly. Yeah, her father pops up, doesn't it? When she comes back, yeah. when she comes back, it's a, uh, it's like a mummified version. No, not really mummified. The skin's just really old and wrinkly. Yeah. Okay. Stan, uh, he's the one that encounters the mummy uh, clown. And, and when she goes to her, to her, da- her, her old house, mm-hmm. old lady lives there. Um, the, I will say, I think the movie definitely is creepier the first half. I think, the, I think the first half of the movie's better, because I mean, I feel like... Especially when I was a kid, but I can see even now I, I still have the same opinion. I just think it's scarier when you're a kid and you got to deal with this stuff because parents don't believe you, or you know, and it just seems like you're so vulnerable as a kid. Whereas the adults, I don't know, man, it wasn't so much that. I mean, it just even the movie itself was just, it just seemed creepier when you're a kid. Um, the stuff they encountered as adults wasn't that big of a deal. Like I don't know, they were like freaking out inside the Chinese restaurant. I'm just like that was like the tamest fucking shit. Except for where the hell that spider thing was going to be. Like, it popped out of a leg. I was like, I don't, I don't well, know what that is. Well, it's not like that, the, the... Fortune cookies. Fortune cookies. Yeah, they all was... Like, open it, and it's like all blood, and it squirts out. And it's like, uh, crawled at it or something. Mm-hmm. One's like, one's, yeah, one's got crab pinchers. And, like, the one's like, it's, about to, it's going to be like a spider or something. Like, a leg pops yeah. out, but you don't know what it's going to be. And it, it squirts in our face. Mm-hmm. And that part where I'm the, when the girl, she was little... A big freaking red freaking bubble pops up. Yeah, and then the sink. Yeah. And psh, pops. And her, every time she cleans it up, it keeps popping on her. Yeah. And, and like the dad. Doesn't like, see touches it. it. And he doesn't see it. Yep, doesn't see it. The adults don't see it. Uh, but no, the story's great. And you know what? As a kid, and even up until last year, my biggest complaint about this movie was the ending. Because it's like they just, you know, after all the horrible, disturbing, crazy things it could be. Even the clown, which is scary as shit, it just turns into a bad, giant, claymated spider. Um, however, it's not too different. That's the thing. Like Everybody's like, well, the book was just unfillable. You can never film the book. It's like, yeah, you can. I pictured it in my head. I can take those pictures and put them on the screen. you got to have the money. And I, I will say, clearly, a TV miniseries ain't going to have the budget that an actual movie would have. But it wasn't unfilmable. I think that's bullshit if people say that. But this is pretty goddamn close. Like, it wasn't that drastic. Like, the only drastic thing is, in the book, it kind of takes place on a different dimensional field in your mind. It, it, I know I'm losing people here right now already, but, uh, Giant Turtle? Seriously. Uh, anyways, uh, but no, it wasn't, it wasn't impossible. It may come off corny, I think, uh, if you shot it like it was in the book. I think it could... Like, you see it on the screen, it may come out. I mean, when you're reading it, you know, in your mind, it don't seem that corny, but I'm sure if you put it on the screen, whatever I would, you know, would envision, it may come out a little cheesy, but it, no, big thumbs up. I love it. It's great. Uh, yeah, I love it, too. Talented. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So that's it. Uh, you said the movie. Uh, uh or my parallel reviews, I would totally recommend checking out about both of the movies. If you haven't liked, like. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. If you guys have got any questions, maybe you want me to review, comment down below. Oh, yeah. Very response. And my Facebook and Twitter. So, yeah. That's it till Monday. Monday top three. I haven't picked one out yet. So, yep, that's it.